This is a demonstration video for this Techniques SLD2 turntable. Uh, the turntable has been completely serviced, including deoxiding and fader lubing of the speed selector switch, pitch adjustment wheel, a brand new Audio Technica AT3600L cartridge and stylus has been installed, and the tracking force and anti skating forces have been set appropriately for the new cartridge. The variable resistors underneath the turntable were also adjusted so that the uh, 45 and 33 RPM speeds are extremely close. So that way when you switch in between, you don't have to play with the pitch adjustment wheel. Now the turntable also includes the original OEM Techniques 45 adapter puck. Okay, I'll uh, take us on a close up to see the condition of the turntable. Uh, cosmetically, the turntable is in great shape. No major scratches, marks, dings, or anything like that on the turntable itself. Uh, the dust cover is also in good shape not perfect as you can see there are a few scratches and scrapes on it uh, you can see them in the in the right light and it looks like you can looks like it's come through on the camera so not perfect but also not awful for a 40 year old turntable so as far as the features uh this is a dual speed, 33, 45 RPM turntable. It has the pitch adjustment wheel. And then you have your stop button. And you also have your cueing lever. So for this uh, demo video, I've got it hooked up to this old uh, 90 Sony receiver. And it's gonna be playing through these little Polk uh, monitor for bookshelf speakers which are also uh, for sale. So I'll have a link to those as well. So uh, we'll get it fired up. So the cue is very smooth in its action. So you can just hit the switch and the tone arm will slowly drop. Like the pine trees lining the winding road, I've got a name, I've got a name. Like the singing bird in the croaking toad, I've got a name, I've got a name. Okay, I'll demonstrate the stop function. So all you do is hit the stop switch and the tone arm will return to rest and the turntable will shut itself off. Okay. Okay, I'll show the uh, stroboscope. Oops. So you can see it's holding uh, speed pretty well. Maybe I got it running just a hair fast, but it's almost perfect. You can see this bottom row is standing up uh, almost perfectly still. Okay, I'll uh, show that both channels are working on the turntable. So here's my balance knob down here. So we'll go full left. So we've got the sound coming up the left speaker. As we go further away to the right speaker. Okay, do the opposite. Go balance full right. 
the car bells around with sling. This one. And again. Nothing over here. We'll go back to center. Uh, those skips are just because I got this uh, camera mount on the same level, so I'll stop touching that. Okay, I'll uh, demonstrate the auto return. So it'll take us towards the end of the record. Okay, now I'll demonstrate the 45 RPM speed. So I've got a 45 RPM, 10 inch record. Switch to 45 RPM. Just gonna try and zoom in on that stroboscope. So I don't have to touch this really, but we're looking at this line of dots right here. And as you can see, those are standing basically still, and I didn't have to play with the pitch adjustment wheel to get that. Okay, I'll just swing it over to demonstrate the auto return on this record. And it swings over, it goes back to rest and turns itself off. Okay, so overall this turntable is in uh, great condition, functions flawlessly. Uh, these old techniques, direct drives are known for being uh, bulletproof. So this thing should be running for uh, a long time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.